Hi, this is Łukasz from the Blender Smoothie channel. Today I want to show you a background removal technique that will blow your mind. It's easy, it's free, it's open source and it's fast and accurate. What more do you need? So in this episode I will show you how to generate a mask in one click, how to refine it and how to use alpha channel in Blender. So let's get started. We are going to use code from Dichotomous Image Segmentation Project. This is an AI network trained on large dataset from over 200 categories. And as you can see, the presented results are really amazing. Just have a look at this. So, there are two ways of using this project. You can download the code and the model and run it offline on your machine. I have tried it, as you can see, and it works flawlessly, but I promised you one click effect. So let's go to my favorite hugging face space. I put all the links in the description below. So I have decided to try three images. The first one is my unicycle. I thought a large amount of detail would be challenge for the algorithm, especially the spokes. Just drag and drop image here and press submit. Wait a few seconds and OK. Nice! <laughs> This is really nice. I think that the result is almost perfect. And so you could, you could just save it as a PNG file and use it right away. And you have also a black and white mask here. So we can also refine it. For example, these letters from the tire here and this space here. We'll do it in a minute, but in the meantime I was trying also uh, different images. For example, this is uh, the result for the AI generated illustration and as you can see it works too. Maybe some refinement around hairs will be necessary but it's always tricky and I think that that quality mask in a few seconds it's a huge time saver and I also tried my cat so I think my cat Nika on a really messy background was the most challenging one uh, so it works sort of Beautifully cut vibrances, but the body is like semi transparent, and the highlights from the computer monitor are present. So, I will take uh, that and show you how you can refine it. Uh, I'm using uh, Krita, it's free and open source software available on all platforms. So, I will open my picture. Okay. And drag and drop a mask and insert as a new li layer. Okay. So, I will do the first refinement just on a mask. I will change my brush size. Okay. And change the color to white. The principle is very simple. Everything that is white will be visible and everything that is black will be transparent. And grays are just semi-transparent respectively. Ok, so the next step is to right click on a mask and then select convert and convert to transparency mask so the transparent mask should be right below our image. And right now it's very important 
what you have selected here. Because if I am in paint mode, I can paint on my image or I can paint on my mask. So make sure that you have your image selected because then you can, for example, select that space using a magic wand and you can also then refine the selection for example holding the alt key I can just just do that or having shift key I'm adding to the mask okay of course you can have a lots of selection tools here available. I will then use select and smooth option to make it smoother. And right now I'm not deleting that space from my image, but I'm selecting the transparency mask and the fill tool with black coral color selected here and just filling that space with that black color. So as you can see, that's much more better. Okay, that's our final result. And make sure that you will save it not as a JPEG, because it doesn't support transparency, but as PNG file. And we can go to Blender. In Blender, we are going to delete the default cube and add a new plane. I will rotate it on x-axis 90 degrees. And now I'm going to the material properties and please click new to add a new material. Then go to the shading tab and here if you just drag and drop your image you can create an image texture. Connect the color output to the base color input on your shader and then also connect the alpha output to the alpha input of the shader. But as you can see, it's not working. Why? Because this will work only for the cycles shader. But what if you want to use an EV? Select EV and then you have to go to the material properties and right here you have a blend mode option. So you have to select that and check that you have alpha blend selected and then it will work just fine on that EV setting too. And I have also created a simple scene with a spotlight source to show you how the setting of shadow mode works. So if you select none, then you, the, our object does not drop any shadow. If you select opaque, then the whole object drops shadow or when you select alpha clip or alpha hashed then only our opaque uh, part of an image drops shadow and as you may see alpha hashed is a little bit more accurate and alpha clip is just a faster and simple way to calculate the shadow so you can choose what you like. That's all for today and if it was helpful for you please click like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Bye.